in just five overs. But then, Hamid Hassan returned to the attack to immediate effect. Stephen Mullaney was bowled for 12 on the first ball of the 18th over. Hassan's third wicket of the innings. Next man, 20-year-old Scott Elston bowled first ball. Hassan's fourth wicket. And for the second time in the game, he was on a hat-trick. First time around, Reid had narrowly averted the hat-trick. But this time, Paul Franks was not as successful. A hat-trick of clean bowl dismissals for the Afghan bowler, who at that stage had figures of 5 for 15. A pressure situation for 17-year-old Sam Wood, making his first appearance for the county's first team but he avoided making contact with the fourth ball of Hassan's remarkable over. Two overs to go, three wickets left, and still 27 needed from 12 balls. Reid stepped up and delivered. Mohamed Nabi hit for four, spoiling figures of just nine runs from his first three overs. Nabi has been one of the stars in Afghanistan's rise up the world rankings. And then Reid hit a huge six to follow up the boundary as he put pressure on the Afghan. On, a single off the third ball as Reid had the confidence to put young Wood on strike. teenager had failed to score from his first two balls, but with the pressure on, he hit a crucial six. Wood hit a century for England under 19s in Sri Lanka this winter, and at 17 looks like an excellent prospect. Two more from the fifth ball of the over. Keeper Davies forced to do his own fielding. Last ball of the over. Another mistimed shot from Wood. But two more runs, 21 off the over, and only six more required. Come on, boys, come on. Toby Roland Jones needed a tight last over. But Reed seemed to take the remaining pressure away with a four hit straight down the ground from the first ball of the 20th over. Two required from five balls. And that became one run needed off two balls. And although Wood appeared to be caught out with the scores tied, the umpire Michael Goff had already signalled a no ball to take Nottinghamshire across the finish line with one ball and three wickets to spare. A frustrating trip to Dubai for Ganguly, but a terrific game full of twists and turns and some exceptional individual performances. All smiles for Sam Wood. A great start to his county career, hitting 12 crucial runs from seven balls. The batting highlight, though, Chris Reed's knock of 48 not out from just 33 balls, including a six and six fours. We were in a little bit of strife at one point, but uh, I think it was mainly down to Hassan, the Afghanistani bowler, bowled fantastic spell. Um, and if we get the runs off the other guys, then we, were, we had a chance, I think, and it, as it came off nicely. The 19th over was a big over for us. We needed 27 in two, and we knew that we needed, you know, two big overs really. And uh, obviously, that 19th over was a, was a fantastic one for us, with young Sam Wood making his debut for Knots, uh, striking a, a, a lovely six over long on, being the highlight. In the bowling, remarkable figures for Hamid Hassan, who added to his growing reputation with five for 17. Like thanks to Allah because I did well today in the game. I try my best to win the game, but it's cricket. Uh, Nabi, like in second last over, he gives some runs and we lost that game. So it is our bad luck today, and we didn't win the game.
But, uh, what was the one aspect of bowling you were focusing on today while bowling? Uh, you know, I'm always thinking about to save the runs for the team and try my best to get some wickets for my team. Always have MCC or Afghanistan, so that is why I concentrate every ball. And also, wind was from very fast from the other end, stopping me. And I still uh, try my best to get some wickets and save the runs. So that is why I did well. But in the end, on the losing side, must have hurt. A lot, yeah, because uh, like, uh, to, to me, five cricket doesn't work because we lost the game, but it's cricket, it's happened. And uh, we did well, and uh, we, everybody performed well, and they try our best, uh, but it's, uh, it's part of the game. Uh, recently, Afghanistan's cricket has been on uh, some kind of an upswing, so what do you have to say about that? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, the team is very good, mashallah, because uh, they did well from last two years, and we won a few months ago, like, uh, Intercontinental Cup. We participate first time and uh, we won the tournament. We beat Ireland, Scotland, Canada, Holland and uh, Zimbabwe. And uh, so now we are doing very well and we are looking forward to for next uh, 2020 World Cup in Sri Lanka. It's qualifying round in Dubai next year. So we hope we do well and get qualified for the World Cup as well.